students welcome to the wonderful world of english language classroom today you are with me your teacher rajni jemini and with me a student like you bhuvi sharma hello learners so ma'am what are we going to learn today i'm very excited great bhuvi i hope our learners are excited too because today we are going to learn about writing letters that is my favorite topic i love writing letters I know that people nowadays don't write letters as they used to, but I do. Every month I make it a point to write letters to my friends and relatives. It is so much fun. Wow, this is interesting. And why do you think writing letters is more important and more fun than making a phone call? Since a letter is written, we give more thought to what we are going to write. When we make a phone call, we are speaking spontaneously. even if we say something wrong it can be heard and forgotten but when we write something it becomes a written record yes bhuvi you are absolutely right when we write we have to be careful about the style of writing choice of words format of writing and many other things that we don't even think about when we are making a phone call but today we shall be learning how to write a formal business letter When we write letters to our friends and relatives who are away from us then these kinds of letters are called informal letters but in your class 11th syllabus and your class 12th syllabus you don't have informal letters you only have formal business letters ma'am what are business letters a business letter is a letter from one company to another or between such organizations and customers and clients and other external parties they have a very specific style of writing and follow specific conventions the overall style of letter depends on the relationship between the parties concerned business letters can have many types of content for example to request direct information or action from another party you have to write a letter of inquiry or a letter of complaint you write a letter to order supplies from a supplier also you may write a letter to reply directly to a request or to apologize for a wrong or maybe even to convey goodwill and why do we learn to write business letters you tell me any guesses to score better marks haha <laughs> yes that is of course one reason but it is an important skill it ensures effective business communication businesses use formal written communications either in print or electronic media to convey important information a business letter is sometimes useful because it produces a permanent written record and may be taken more seriously by the recipient than other forms of communication now i get it so if it is in written form you cannot say that you ordered something else because there is written record of what you ordered absolutely so what are the things that we should keep in mind while writing formal business letters the first thing is the format of the letter you draw the margin and on extreme left hand side you write the sender's address mind you don't write the name of the person then date then receiver's address subject salutation body of the letter and closure with name most formal letters are written in block style using blank lines between paragraphs and lining everything up along the left margin ma'am could you explain the format in detail yes dear First, let me explain the address block. Your formal letter opens with your own address, but not your name at the top of the page. Skip one line and then write the date. Skip another line, then enter the name, title and company and address of the person to whom you are writing. So it would look something like this. Name of the place where you are uh, residing, then the PIN code, then the city and the date. then you write the receiver's address so in the receiver's address you write the designation of the person say the director here software solutions name of the company and the address 55d south extension part 2 new delhi 110049 okay so now i'm able to see the formal letters in the terms of building blocks good so next comes salutation and subject what is salutation The salutation is the greeting to the person you are writing to. Whenever possible you should research an actual person and a name to address your letter. But when you are applying for a job or writing to a book reviewer, 
it shows that you have done your research and put some effort into the process. But if you can't find the name, then it is appropriate to use dear sir or madam as your salutation. A typical salutation would look like one of these depending on the person's title. You could write dear Mr. Sharma or dear Ms. Kapoor or dear Dr. Meghanathan. Ma'am, there is a confusion there. What should come first, the salutation or the subject? Formal letters are written for business as well as official purposes. They are written for a specific objective and therefore employ a very precise language and stipulated format. Sender's address, date, receiver's address and then you know subject and salutation can be interchangeable and then you write complimentary close. As per the prescribed format, the subject in formal letter can precede or follow the salutation. Its main purpose is to assist in highlighting and clarifying the objective or purpose to the reader. Thanks for clarifying. So, the next block is the body, right? Absolutely right. This is where it gets good. The body is the content of your letter. You will want to keep it short and simple as you can. A professional letter should usually be only a page long unless there is something that you are attaching along with it. Uh, there has to be a very good reason for it to run longer such as there is if it is a legal notice or it has lot of involved points. Use short paragraphs and break up the paragraphs with a blank line in between. Then don't intend the first line. You know, for a long time we used to indent the first line. In fact, even now some of my friends forget and indent it by mistake. That's why I pointed it out. It is very common. Moving on, the body should open with a brief introduction, then carry on into the point of the letter. Make your main point in the second paragraph, then justify that point in the third paragraph. In the next few paragraphs, add any supporting information or evidence for your point. Your last paragraph should sum up your points in a few brief sentences. In most letters, this is also where you request some type of action like asking an editor to review your manuscript sample or asking a company to call you for follow up. So basically, there should be three to four paragraphs in the body. Yes, you got it right. Let me repeat it for the students. So, the first paragraph is a repetition of subject, of course in a more formal language. The second para gives the details of your problem. In the third para, you suggest a solution to your problem and your last paragraph should sum up your points in brief sentences. In most letters, this is also where you request some type of action. How to close your letter? For closing your letter, choose a simple closing like yours sincerely. Capitalize the first word only. If you are printing and mailing your letter, leave two, three blank lines and then type your name. Sign your name in the empty space after printing. Anything after that? Yes, of course. If you are sending anything else along with your letter, note that after your signature, by typing enclosed or attached, you can abbreviate it by writing ENCL or ATT. And you briefly describe the type of document that you have added. This might be a resume, a self-addressed envelope or some additional document. I think I get the major idea, but it would be good if you could practice it using an example. Of course, let us do a letter of inquiry because that is the first letter in the list of business letters. Naturally, before you do business with someone, you need to find out information about them from them. I saw this question in a sample paper. Can you tell me how to do this one, ma'am? Of course. You are Rohan Rohini living at E55 Kalash Apartments, New Delhi 49. You have come across an animation course. However, you need some information before you can join the course. Write a letter inquiring about the course. Also, this is a letter many of you need to write after class 10th or 12th when you have some free time and you want to learn something new. So, tell me. Bhuvi, how do you think we should start? The address block first. Absolutely right. And in the address block, whose address will come first? Sender's address, that means my address if I am writing the letter or for exam purpose, the address of the person who is writing the letter. You are absolutely right Bhuvi. Then we write the receiver's address which also includes the resignation of the person we are writing to. 
So, in this letter, since we are writing to an educational institution, we may be writing to the director or principal of the organization. After that, we write the subject and salutation. Correct. Then comes the body. Yes, the body of this letter should answer three questions. And what are they? Well, the answers are that you could get to know about the animation course either from newspapers or TV or by word of mouth. Secondly, in terms of what is it that you would like to know, you would probably like to know the duration, the timings of the course, the fee structure, availability of transport, what kind of certification is offered, whether they offer any hands-on experience or not, what kind of evaluation process do they follow, what is the strength of their batches and finally, what is the credibility of their faculty. And the third question as to how you would get to know the answers, then you should be sending a self-addressed envelope. Yes, I think that would really help me plan the letter. Of course, we need to write the information in full sentences using formal language. Of course, but what about closing? For closing, like you said, choose a simple closing like yours sincerely, capitalize the first word only, signature and then type your name. Anything else after that? Enclosures. In this case, I think we are enclosing self-address envelope. So finally, your letter would look something like this. E155 Kalash Apartments, New Delhi, 20th March 2020. The Director, Digital World, South Extension, New Delhi. Subject would be inquiry regarding the sh short term course. Then you write the salutation with reference to advertisement published in the Times of India dated February 20 regarding the short term course being offered by your institution. I am very keen to join the animation course and would like to register as soon as I have the information. I am enclosing a self-addressed envelope for a quick reply. Yours truly, Rohin or Rohini. Looks good. I am feeling very good. I really feel I can do it now. Not so soon. Do you think you are ready for a little test? Aha, teachers. No lesson is complete without a test, is it? No, it's not. I have to be sure that you have understood. Yes, ma'am. I am ready and I am sure our viewers who are watching and learning are also ready. So tell me, what is the correct form of writing yours? You have these four options before you. I think the correct answer is the first one. You got it absolutely right. And now I am going to give you a few true false statements. Tell me, we write the name and address at the top of the letter on the right. That is false. Very good. That is absolutely correct. Do we write the name and address of the person you are writing to on the left? True. Very good. And the next one is, do you write your name below your signature? That is true. Okay, Bhuvi. You got it absolutely right. You have really learned your lesson. You sure are ready to write a good inquiry letter. So, do you want some homework for now? Absolutely, ma'am. I sure want to practice it further. Great. So, you need to write an inquiry letter to a tour at tourism company to inquire about the tour, packages and discount for group of students that you plan to take on the trip. You are Amit or Amita, the sports in charge of ABC Public School. To help you, I am also giving you some tips about what all you should ask for. When you are planning your tour inquiry, these are the parameters that you should be keeping in mind. You should ask for the itinerary. You should uh, look for the destination and the areas that you want to visit. You should uh, ask about the duration, the cost per person, the type of accommodation, meals offered, availability of transport and other facilities. Great! I am definitely going to write this letter. It is so much fun planning trips. So this homework is no homework at all. I am really going to enjoy it. It is time for us to say bye bye to our viewers. I hope they also enjoyed the lesson learning with us as we did. Happy letter writing to all of you. Bye bye. Bye.